Let's solve this one. Well, it's equal to zero, so we're okay there. I don't have any common factors, so I can't divide anything out. Then I look here. Oh, I have something other than a one, so I know I'm going to have to do my grouping method. So I take this five times this five. So five times five is my 25. And now I start to think of everything that multiplies to 25. Well, one times 25, five times five, negative one times negative 25, and so on. But remember, I wanted to add to negative 26. Well, 1 plus 25 is 26, but we want a negative 26. 5 plus 5 is 10. That's not going to work. But negative 1 plus negative 25 is our negative 26. So now let's rewrite it. 5x squared minus 1x, or just x, minus 25x plus 5 equals 0. Now look at negative 1x minus 25x is my negative 26x, so we really haven't changed it. I look at my first two and I say, what's in common with my first two? Let's write an x. So I have x times 5x minus 1. And now I look at my second two. Well, one tip here, if this is a negative, I know I'm going to pull out a negative something. Well, 5 is in common. So I'm going to pull out a negative 5, or divide out a negative 5. And that leaves me with 5x minus 1. Remember, it's still equal to 0. The next thing I do is I look at this guy, and I look at this guy. And I say, what's in common? Yep, 5x minus 1. So I take out a 5x minus 1, and I'm left with x minus 5 still equal to zero. Now I take each part and make it equal to zero. So 5x minus 1 equals zero. x minus 5 equals zero. And I'm going to solve for x. Add 1, add 1. So 5x equals 1 divided by 5. So x equals 1 fifth. That's my first answer. And now I'm going to add 5 to both sides of this one to get x by itself. So x equals 5, and that's my second answer. Let's look at this one. Well, first of all, it's not equal to 0, right? So I have to make it equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 15x from both sides. I end up with 6x to the third plus 9x squared minus 15x equals 0. Now my next step is to look and see, do I have any common factors? And I do. Actually, 3x will come out of each of those. So I'm going to take out a 3x, divide out a 3x. I end up with 2x squared plus 3x minus 5, and that still equals 0. And now I look and notice that my leading coefficient is a 2, so I know I have to do the grouping method. So 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Well, I know that negative 2 times 5 is 10, negative 10. 2 times negative 5 is also negative 10. I needed to add to positive 3. Well, negative 2 plus 5 is 3. So I did it. Remember to keep bringing this guy down. We're not going to use it till the very end, but we need to keep him. So I end up with 2x squared minus 2x plus 5x minus 5. And remember, that still equals 0. Bring him down again. To continue my grouping method, I look at my first two and say, well, what's in common with the first two? And it's 2x, and I end up with x minus 1. I look at my second two and say, well, what's in common with those two? And it's just a 1. Sorry, it's a 5. <laughs> and I end up with x minus 1. And this still equals 0. 
Now I look at these two and I look at these two. I continue to bring down my 3x. Oh, my little astronaut's getting in the way there. And I end up with 3x plus 5 equals 0, plus 5. And x minus 1, and all of those equals 0. Now I make each part equal to 0. So 3x equals 0. 3x plus 5 equals 0. And x minus 1 equals 0. Well, when I divide by 3 here, I get x to equal 0. So that's my first answer. I'm going to subtract 5. And then I'm going to divide by 3. So x equals negative 5 thirds is my next answer. And I'm going to try to squeeze this guy in. I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So x equals 1 is my third answer. If you need some more practice or looking for worksheets, go to www.piecrust.com.